Hey everyone, Karnak here, it's your buddy, it's your pal, Star Wars Armada Explained, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at, and again, Star Wars names, they're hard, we're going to look at Shriv, Shurgu, Shurgov, Shurgoski, just call him Shriv. So, Shriv is that, that blue skin guy out front, and I guess that's his crew? I don't know, I don't know who any of those other people are, but I know Shriv from the Battlefront 2 game, uh, books awesome character really happy to see he's got his own card i do like the art though i do want to stress that so shriv is a unique boarding team card uh you can see that by first off you look there in front of his name this a little dot or bullet point signifies that shriv is unique you can only ever have one shriv in your fleet at a time bottom left hand corner shows that this card can only be equipped to a ship that has both a weapons team slot and an offensive retrofit slot and it will occupy both of these slots on that ship. He is faction specific for the Rebel Alliance only. And a point cost of only 6 points. Uh, he's essentially the Rebels version of Vader. But not as powerful as Vader. Uh, the boarding team Vader essentially can, can slice up practically anything in the game that's not a commander. Shriv is a little bit more restricted. Let's dive right into his card. When you reveal a command, you meaning the ship he's equipped to, you may discard a squadron dial or token and this card to choose one enemy ship at close range. Choose and discard one, as in one, not all of these things. You can choose and discard one, either weapons team, support team, offensive retrofit, defensive retrofit, ordnance, uh, ion or turbo laser upgrade card equipped to that ship. Again, you just you choose one. You don't discard one of each of these things because then, again, really you, that's just not how the that the card works. And some people are like, oh yeah, it shows all the icons, and so I can do all of them. It's like no, no, no. You choose and discard one upgrade card equipped to that ship. Is is what that is saying. Um. So that's what Shriv accomplishes. So I've got the cards out here on the right of all the, ty the types. I know on my right, your left, <laughs> however the camera works here. So all these icon backings here is a card type he can discard. So, you know, get rid of that pesky ECM. Maybe you want to strip off their engine techs, take away maybe their gunnery team or ordnance experts. Maybe they're leading shots. Um, he's still a very powerful effect because the only cards he can't remove... Uh, you know, it's not that important, but you can't get rid of any titles. Fleet support, like Bomber Command Center. You can't get rid of fleet commands. You cannot get rid of any officers. And you cannot get rid of uh, any experimental retrofit or super weapon upgrade cards. So while he does have some minor limitations, by and large, he's going to pull off any upgrade card you probably would have had Vader boarding team rip off anyway, which... My, in my own experience, ECM is always a great a great target to, to rip off there. Or if nothing else, for example, you're assaulting an SSD, take off its leading shots and watch it cry as it rolls blanks all day, wrong, all day long. So let's dive into how the card works, though. Just get all the timings. You'll see here I have out each ship that is able to equip Shriv. Uh, you can be equipped to either Hammerhead, Assault Frigate, MC-75, or the Starhawk, and you can be equipped to, to either variant um, of any of those ships. And again, those are the only four ships currently he's able to be equipped to for the Rebel Alliance. Let's go ahead and say he's on this uh, Hammerhead. So how does this card work? So one caveat I do want to point out with this, it says here, when you reveal a command, again, when that ship reveals a command, so one thing to note with this, if your ship does not reveal a command because it chose to discard its dial, for example, to clear raid, maybe you've got an upgrade damage card, or you have a face-up damage card like Crew Panic, which gives you the option. Essentially, if you discard your command dial and you do not reveal a command dial, you don't... Essentially, as long as you do not reveal a command, you're not able to trigger Shriv. So whether that's be from some other upgrade card, some other effect, or you chose to discard that upgrade or the discard that command dial before it is revealed. Again, if the command dial is never revealed, uh, you do not trigger the ability to utilize this card. A command has to be revealed. 
Okay? All right. I think we're clear on that. So when you reveal a command, you may discard a squadron dial or token and this card to choose one enemy ship at close range. Okay, so again, you reveal the command dial. It doesn't matter what's on that dial, um, except in order to trigger to resolve this card, uh, you need to discard either a squadron dial, or if you have a squadron token on the ship, you can discard a squadron token. You don't need to discard both. You can choose one or the other. And then you choose one enemy ship at close range. So if there were multiple ships, for example, at close range here, and this black circle here is close range, uh, you would have the option of, do I want to do this ship, or do I want to do this ship? And how is that range determined? Uh, since this is not an attack, it's determined from closest point to closest point. So, for example, here we're going to say, uh, it's this, uh, my hammerhead wants to board this assault frigate. And you can see here, from the closest point to the closest point, his plastic base is barely in range. Now, you're making this measurement from the closest point of the plastic base of the ship he's equipped to, to the closest point of the base of the ship that he wants to use his ability on. You do not count ranging from the shield dials or the sh shield frames. They are never considered when making range checks. It's specifically in RNG. Again, you're measuring from closest point of plastic to closest point of plastic. And again, you don't need to measure from cardboard to cardboard because this is not an attack. It is specifically a card effect that all it requires is a range check. Okay? So that is technically close range. All right. So we've determined, I've revealed my command. It's a, Let's say it's a squadron command dial. Ah, I have fulfilled that requirement. Uh, now I can choose one enemy ship at close range. Well, this assault frigate's at close range. Okay, check that box. Now I can discard one of these upgrade cards. And we'll say that this, uh, this assault frigate has uh, Cackle and, and Sholin here. The twins, maybe he's got that card equipped. You know what? You don't want that assault forget to use that card anymore. You say, okay, uh, I'm discarding my squadron dial. I am discarding this card, and I am choosing that upgrade card to discard as well. So then you would flip both cards, flip them over, both facing down. They're now both discarded from the game. You've now removed that card. or You didn't remove that card from the ship, but rather you've discarded it. It's still equipped to that ship for in terms of, you know, counting points the ship is destroyed but he no longer is able to utilize that card at all that's shriv and again i like him for being able to remove ecms or again other annoying cards just like that one he's fantastic for that um i have the carm here to make sure i'm going over some other examples let's see here uh for example if rapid launch bays is discarded by shriv because that's a, an offensive retrofit card then any squadrons currently set aside that have not been placed, those are considered destroyed at the end of the game because there is, in the hyperspace assault, there's an FAQ that states anything that's set aside is destroyed at the end of the game if it is not placed onto the play area. Um, so that is FAQ for that. So that's it. another thing if your opponent has rapid launch base, which is not a card you really see a whole lot of, but if you do, rip it off, destroy some free squadrons. Uh, even if Shriv was to discard, for example, early warning system, the chaff token that it would put out in the ship phase, that remains and continues to obstruct all attacks until the end of the status phase when it is removed. Because the timing of that card has already resolved, you've already put the token out, and even though you discard that card, the token is the signature of this card is going to continue to work until it had stated of when this card will end. Um, so just because you flip it suddenly face down doesn't mean you forget what the card is or what it does. It still resolves um, until it completes and then you do remove it. Uh, even if Shriv was to discard Auxiliary Shield Team, for example, it's the one that can buff your side hole zones one extra shield. Uh, any additional shields that are in those zones, um, they don't automatically decrease and go back down. Um, obviously that player can no longer put any more shields to those areas, but... Uh, again, that doesn't knock off shields just because the card is gone, because that's not how that card resolves. And finally, uh, if Flag Bridge, the new offensive retrofit card, which allows you to equip a fleet command to your flagship at the cost of it not being able 
to resolve that fleet commander for token, you have to discard it. So if you use Shriv to discard Flag Bridge, you're now removing that restriction of a fleet command can only be discarded to resolve. And now the player can use tokens to resolve fleet commands. So don't ever, not that you, I don't think you ever would want to remove Flag Bridge or Shriv, but just don't. Because all you're doing, you're helping your opponent. So don't do that. <laughs> I mean, maybe you want to. You Maybe you want to help your opponent, but don't help your opponent. Um, but that's Shriv. That's all the interactions that I'm aware of. There's no other crazy things going on that he's capable of doing. Uh, he's very straightforward. But of course, if you feel like I missed something or got something wrong, please be sure to point it out. Let me know. You all are fantastic. I'm going to try to keep putting out cards as often as I can. Hopefully I can get them all done before Worlds. And I do want to officially say we're about a month out from Worlds now. I will be a judge at Worlds. Um, along with Brooks, a former developer for FFG, be judging as well with me. So there's going to be two judges at Worlds. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, I'm striving to get answers for questions about things from Rebelling the Rim, SSD, and the new expansions. So keep an eye on the CARM. I've been pushing out updates to that regularly. The next big update should come before the end of this week. But anyway, you guys have questions. If you have anything, post them up. I'll do the best I can to answer them or try to find answers to those questions. And I'll catch you all next time.